Greatest Cards of All Time, podcast number 42. This is Warren Spahn, number 33 in the 1952 Topps Baseball set. We have three black backs and a red back specimen to look at of the best left-handed pitcher in the history of baseball. You stole my line already. That's what's obvious right that's what we do that's when you know he's probably the best left-handed pitcher in the history of baseball right for sure so what i want to focus on is his 1952 season seeing how we are covering 52 tops there's so much we could talk about with this guy like we said he is the arguably the best left-handed pitcher of all time we could probably do a 15 30 30 minute podcast on him and at some point, I hope we do. But for this podcast, let's focus on 1952. There are a couple of interesting things that actually happened this year specifically related to Spawn and, and the Boston Braves. So first off, this is the last year that they played in Boston. Okay. Uh, it was almost exactly 70 years ago today. September 21st, 1952 was the last time that they played in Braves Field, they lost to the Brooklyn Dodgers. I believe the score was 2-8. to eight. Another interesting thing, not super significant, they finished the season with six games on the road. And actually on the 28th of September in 52, they ended up in a tie. So that's kind of odd. That doesn't really happen all that That much. bothers you. Well, it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't happen very often. And the reason why it did happen is because it was dark. You know, so that's not a reason why we would ever have a tie again because people, every single stadium now that the Cubs added it whenever they did, now every single stadium has lights. That's why they had to so, start at 120. Yeah, right. So um, in this year, not, not a very good year for the Braves. Uh, attendance was low at their last home game. They actually finished the year 64 and 89. So uh, I think the owner was just trying to find, you know, the grass was greener and wanted to go somewhere else. Uh, for, for this year, though, for Warren Spahn, not a great record. He was 14 and 19. He had a solid ERA. It was just a bad team, I think, is what the problem was. So his ERA for this season, 2.98, which is actually better than his 20-year average of 3.09. So uh, it was probably more a lack of offense than anything. He ended up pitching in 290 innings he played in 40 games started in 35 games he he led the league with strikeouts with 183 and for the season he had a 6.6 .6 war which is very good for a single season he delivered a lot of strikeouts he was great obviously he's just say he was great he was, he was one of the best or the best so. the best left-handed pitcher 363 wins in his career a career war of 100 point 300 is celebrated. This guy had 363 wins in his career. A three-digit war is very rare. Not many players have that. So a, a career war of 100.1, obviously it's great. He is a Hall of Famer. Uh, like you indicated before, as far as the 52 tops, we had three blacks, one red. This is actually Series 1. 1 through 80 is Series 1. Like I've said before, every card in the first series has a red or a black back option. This Boston Braves and Milwaukee Braves pitcher, the 1957 Cy Young Award winner, who had 13 20 win seasons. We have some nice cards to look at here of this 1952 Tops option of Warren Spahn. You were talking about the logo that caught your eye right away. How can you not love that Braves logo? Right. Something that would be canceled probably at this, not probably, definitely canceled at this yeah. point, unfortunately. But uh, we've commented on it before. All of these old logos are fun to look at. Um, it's just... They're just watching them change throughout the years um, just looks cool. Something you don't normally see. As far as the card itself, I it's one of my favorite 52 tops. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the red background. We've kind of talked about it. Like, why do some have more of a picture quality? Um, 
I, I did comment on it a little bit before. This one is actually even a little more confusing to me. So, you know, on the left, so we got the red background, and then we got these like two brown spots that I was going to yeah, ask like you yellow about. spots like, or something. I was going to bring that to your right. attention. I know they have black backs and red backs. Right. I call this a red front where they just have the plain generic red a background red there. Here's a red front. Yeah, right. The background. background's red. <laughs> and in that background, there are those two spots that I'm talking about that have like this brown like rectangle shape. One next to his oh, neck. What is that? Is that in the background the or is that supposed to, is that supposed to be there? It's on every card. So Were they it, supposed yeah. to paint bucket those two <laughs> on Microsoft Paint? That one's confusing to me. I and don't it was get supposed it. to be solid red. I'm I, I'm still calling them red fronts. I don't get it. That's a red front black back. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Uh the jersey too. We don't we don't get to see much of the jersey, but I'm seeing blue or like a light baby blue on the on the stripe there, which is a little bit different. Yeah. That's another thing that we've kind of been on before is seeing the colors change for the teams throughout the years and and what have you. So That's their Nike color blast from 1952. <laughs> well, and, and the hat's blue too. You know, they just got the big B there with with the white with the white B. Yeah. And it is a blue hat. So, uh, apparently back in the day, maybe blue was the primary color for for the for the Braves. These four cards we have here like stated before, three black backs and one slabbed up red back too i guess this one slabbed up too a poor one in the psa and a 2.5 in the tuxedo i do like that 2.5 in the tuxedo and it is the red back so you do get the supposed better picture quality on that card right good point uh it, it does look like there's less of a shadow on the on the face yeah if you look at the psa 1 versus the sgc 2.5 you can definitely see a darker color um a definite on the change face, neck yeah and a even the red change in the shading for the sure. red the red even looks like a, a different color and it, it just yeah. has more of a pop for sure you know on the back of the card Again, we've talked about it before, the greatest left-handed pitcher of all time. It kind of talks about some of his, his 21 game season of 47. Warren, Warren Edward Spahn. Right. I mean, in 15, 15 wins in 48, 21 wins in 49, 21 wins in 50. You know, the guy is clearly one of the best pitchers of all time. He's in the Hall of Fame. Career war over 100. Not many players can say they have a career war in the triple digits. He was a decorated World War II veteran also, and he passed away in 2003 at the old age of 82. Yeah, so on the back indicates he was in the Army, and we're talking about his numbers, his accomplishments, and that was, what, two, three years missing for, for service. So uh, just think if he didn't have that, those numbers would even be better than they are. 